Hello, welcome, and I hope you came prepared to tackle a seemingly intractable mathematical problem involving space curves and vector fields with a surprisingly very simple line integral and a little help from MATLAB. But ready or not, here we go. Here's the problem statement. Compute the work done by the force field F of x, y, and z equals an i component of x plus y and a j hat component of x minus z and a k hat component of y plus z on a mathematical bug walking along the helix parameterized by the position vector function r of t is equal to sine of t, cosine of t, and 2t for the x, y, and z components for our t value ranging from 0 to 3 pi. Alright, so if this seems like a rather involved problem statement rather difficult well it just kind of gets worse if you try and visualize this so let's let's do that let's try to visualize it just to get kind of an idea of, um, of what this question is asking you for so first let's take a look at our vector field and what you can see here is we've got our vector field shown just in the XY plane so it's kind of a lot going on here it's not that simple um, but if we go ahead and bring it down and take a look at this in 3d we get something like this and just for their, this is just our z equals zero plane and we can go ahead and add a couple more planes in here so let's do that so now we got our vector field at some different z values but the, you see these vectors are getting pretty long so let's go ahead and just use a fixed length for all the vectors and we get something like this and as if this vector field wasn't complicated enough let's go ahead and throw that position function in here so this is the position that that mathematical bug will take and you can see that it is taking this helical shape around the z-axis and what's happening when t equals zero it's starting here at the bottom and it increases up to the top where at this case t is equal to 3 pi so this is what we're looking at and we're trying to find the work done on this bug as it travels that path by that force field shown in blue. So pretty complicated problem, but it turns out it's actually pretty easy, surprisingly. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. It's easy if you understand this, um, the line integral and the um, equation for work. So the equation for work using a line integral is just this integral over C of our force field, F of X, Y, and Z dotted with dr. And if we parameterize this, we get the integral from A to B because we parameterize it with respect to time. And our force field now is a function of x, y, and z in x, where x, y, and z are all functions of time since we parameterize them and that dr instead translates to our velocity vector function r prime of t dt now honestly this isn't too bad because we basically have all this stuff it's just a matter of plugging it into MATLAB at this point alright so first thing we're going to do in MATLAB is go ahead and define our variables we got x, we got y, z We've got um, T, R, and F. And our X is going to be sine of T. And our Y is going to be cosine of T. And our Z is 2 times T. And we can go ahead and define our, our R as our X, Y, and Z components in this vector. And we can go ahead and define our F as given where the I hat component was X plus Y. The j hat component was x minus z, and our k hat component was y plus z. And for good measure, we can just go ahead and define our start and stop time. So we're starting at t equals 0, and we're ending at b, where t is equal to 3 times pi. And that's all we need to define. We can go ahead and jump into our integral and do this all in one line right here. So we got the integral of the dot product of our force field F dotted with the derivative of our position vector function R differentiated with respect to T and we take that dot product and we integrate that with respect to T over the T range where T equals A to T equals B and that's it so I'm hit F5 and MATLAB does all the work for us and we get 6 pi times 3 pi plus 1 quantity and if you're like me that expression doesn't immediately give you a number popped in your head so let's go ahead and take the double of that and we'll get a decimal that decimal being 196.5 and that's it bam super easy 
Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this graphically really quick. So I'm um, looking at this a little bit different way this time. I've got I've, the z-axis is more elongated, as you can see. It's just just to match scale with our x and y axes. So if we kind of move along here in the, on this um, axis a little bit, and see our bug is traveling upward, and you can see our force field vectors are also generally heading upward. So the fact that our bug is moving in the same direction as our force field. Um, gives us good reason to believe that the work in this case is indeed going to be positive like that positive 196.5 value that we found so that checks out and we're done and you can see that we took a seemingly very difficult problem that even only got more difficult when we graphed it out and found that with using the line integral it's actually super easy to um, calculate with a little help from MATLAB so I hope this was helpful if you have any comments or thoughts please let me know below and until next time take care